to TriMet bus driver. It happened last month on the number four bus. Driver Pamela Thompson says this man, Damian Bowman, attacked after she told him he had to pay the full fare in order to ride. Well, today, Damian Bowman walked out of jail. We wanted to know why, given the violent crime he's accused of. Jessica Morkert spent the day trying to get some answers. She's live with more for us tonight. Jessica? And Jeff, this has been deeply upsetting for the victim and also for TriMet drivers who now plan on calling on their local lawmakers to get things changed. The audio calls TriMet bus driver Pam Thompson made while being hit some 15 times in the head still shakes TriMet drivers to the core. Coin Six News was in the courtroom when Thompson said she forgave her attacker. I am returning to work in a few weeks, and um, the trauma that accompanies that doesn't just leave. 39 year old Damon Bowman was in the court that day, too, to face felony assault and other charges. He did not even look back at Pam as Pam spoke to the judge. Um, she has she has forgave him for his actions, but she wants justice as well. TriMet's union president Bruce Hansen tells me Thompson made a request to the court to keep Bowman behind bars. But on Tuesday, he says Multnomah County Judge Kenneth Walker made the decision to let Bowman go on supervision. Our cameras were rolling when he walked out of the jail this morning. So we called the judge's office today to ask why. We were interested in knowing why he was released from jail today without bail. Our calls were not returned by news time. Do you think he deserves to be out of jail? But I've learned Bowman's lack of criminal history likely played a role. Court records show past convictions for driving violations, but no violent crimes. She's scared. Um, she's scared not only for herself, but for her coworkers out there that, that potentially he could, he could do this again. Over a 50 cent fare. Now, as part of Bowman's release, he is required to wear an ankle bracelet at all times. He is also not allowed to go onto any TriMet property. His trial date is now set for February 5th. Live in downtown Portland, Jessica Morkert, Queen Six News.